getting back into the the human centered design piece and the the motivation theory, I think a lot of people underestimate the influence that emotions have on learning. So if you're just presenting information, you're not really conveying anything that that people can latch onto or or glean. Partly because the way the brain is integrated, emotions are an essential part of that. There are a lot of suggestions and theories that we are emotional beings that respond based on those emotions and then kind of um, rationally justify our actions as some, in some kind of afterthought. And a lot of the work we're doing is to try to get people in, in order to open them up to be receptive to, to that new information and to nudge these behaviors, we have to give them some kind of emotional investment. But it's not just to say that I'm making people sad or angry or anything like that. It's, it's really that you're also engaging their curiosity. You're giving them an incentive to participate in how it applies from their own lens or their own perspective. So, you know, it's, it's like you want your kids to grow up and to, to make their own good choices, their own positive choices. They don't have to do it just the way that you want it done. It's as long as they're also content or they find happiness within what they're doing, that's success. And I think we're taking the same approach to learners is that it's not that they're stupid or that they're lazy or any of the stuff that kind of is an easy um, write off of, of why training is ineffective. It's actually more that we're not giving them the what's in it for me. And that's a huge part of this. And one of the ways I found to do that, to engage story or to engage emotion and to engage a sense of what's in it for me is to tell stories because we naturally want to close the loop or figure out what is the answer, what happens, why, why is the scene unfolding the way it is and what does it mean as it pertains to my life. Movies teach us all sorts of stuff about our life. And that's the thing that I, you know, I get the biggest benefit out of is that really good movies taught me, they have taught me something about the world I wasn't prepared to see. And, and that's really a powerful tool. So I want to tap into that.